Well, hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Roger, and this is your daily tarot map for Sunday, November 27th, 2016, using tarot to create the life you want. First off, I want to welcome uh, welcome everybody, especially if you're new around here. Uh, it's always nice to see new people here. And I also want to thank everybody for liking these videos, uh, for sharing them, uh, for subscribing to this channel. I really appreciate all of your support. So today we conclude our work with the World Spirit Tarot as tomorrow is Monday. And that means we'll be working for a new with a new deck for the coming week. So be sure to tune in tomorrow to see what that will be. So on to today's draw using the World Spirit Tarot. The three cards drawn randomly from the deck today were the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. So it looks like we have some repeats today. The Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords both make a reappearance. Boy, these cards have really been stuck in us lately. So the first card in our draw is the Four of Pentacles. And uh, this is actually the strongest card in the spread because it's being pumped up by that uh, other Pentacles card next to it. So here we see a community uh, where everybody is working together for the common good. You know, this card can be about the desire to establish a base uh, to create security in our lives. However, there is one person who may be taking it a bit too far. So here we see a figure... And I can't tell whether it's a man or a woman holding tightly to, to uh, his possessions, uh, holding tightly to what he thinks is his. Now, there's not anything wrong with trying to establish a nest egg for oneself, and indeed we should. But our material possessions should not become our main focus. You know, I know a fellow who owns an expensive car, like really expensive, but he doesn't take it anywhere because he's terrified that it will get dinged or scratched in the parking lot. Other people own expensive jewelry, but never wear it out, afraid that somebody's going to steal it. So in such cases as this, our possessions end up owning us. You know, our gifts are meant to be shared and not hoarded. For some people, there's this overwhelming need for stability and security that puts them in this lack mentality, which is kind of illustrated by our second card, the Five of Pentacles. Now, we've seen this card before. Now, if you remember earlier from this week, the Five of Pentacles is about lacking material resources, but it's often to the, but it's often, it often points to worrying that you don't have enough. You know, in fact, in the Toth deck, this card actually has the title of worry. Um, so this might be a worst case scenario for the many of us, uh, afraid that we're going to end up homeless or uh, out in the cold. You know, I've seen this theme throughout the, this week, the, the entire week, this stream of negative thinking, negative thought involving fear. And that's kind of what I see in today's draw, fear of not having enough. And you know, to combat that, many of us accumulate and may be unwilling to share with others. You know, I, know I once knew someone who refused to share her recipes when asked by others. Never understood that one. So this idea of fear continues with our last card of the Nine of Swords. Now, if you remember, this is a card of worry and anxiety. And again, we have that word, worry. So the depiction in this card, it's about the kind of worry that keeps you up at night, uh, a fear that something might happen, perhaps fear that we'll lose everything we've worked for, or fear that others want our money or our stuff. Now, the good news here is that this card is ill-dignified by the Pentacles card next to it. So remember that air and earth aren't friendly to each other. So this means that there's a way past all that. That once we realize that too much of our focus is on the material and that worrying about our possessions takes up unnecessary energy, we can take that worrying energy and put it to more constructive use. You know, it helps to keep in mind that, that the gifts that we receive, they're meant to be used, enjoyed, and shared. I mean, what's the sense of having something if you can't enjoy it with others? 
You know, I know some folks who have a room full of furniture that contains furniture that nobody is allowed to sit on. Like, what? You know, that's crazy. You know, if our primary concern is maintaining our possessions for ourselves, then we're out of harmony with the flow of the universe. Now, sure, it's important to plan, but it should not be the main goal of our life. You know, the more we, the more we accumulate, the more we end up worrying about it, worrying that we're going to lose it. So we put all our energy into protecting it and maintaining it. You know, I remember the character Chuck from the movie uh, Fight Club. He said something to the effect of, the things that you own end up owning you. So it's only after you lose everything that you're free to do anything. So today's spread, I think, might be a reminder that we cannot depend on what we own for our sense of security. You know, things happen all the time. Uh, markets crash, illnesses and accidents happen, money fluctuates up and down. So the only thing that could, we can really depend on down the road is the loved ones in our life, the community of people around us. And this is what we should be trying to hold on to. So the message today for these three cards is hold wealth and material goods in our palm, not in our fist. When all is said and done, it's the people that matter, not our bling. So today's advice card comes from the Wisdom of Hidden Realms Oracle by Colette Baron reed And the card drawn randomly from the deck today is the Desert Prince. So I like this card in light to today's draw. You know, the keywords survival and false promises are fitting, I think. While it certainly is important to be able to provide for ourselves and our families financially, as well as to prepare for our future, you know, we need to be wary of the false promises that us consumer society has made to us. You know, a new TV, a new car, or a house full of stuff is ultimately not going to result in great happiness. You know, very often, once we accumulate one thing, we begin looking for the next. And then we have to take care of it all to ensure it, to keep a watchful eye over it, to make sure that nobody steals it. You know, my, my experience has been that it's the people in my life and the experiences that I have that fulfill me the most and not those material objects. You know, sometimes letting go of the stuff can create a room in our life for what really matters for those that we love. And uh, that's your daily tarot map for today. Uh, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you click the like button. And uh, visit my website at tarot-dude.com where you'll find all of my contact information. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Brightest blessings.